That was like perfect, but beyond perfect play. Like, letter opener's gonna have to split him. I'm gonna have to, you know what? Damn, I was like, if I can, if I saw that, if I was able to see that before I did it, I would really be a young god in this game. But fortunately, I'm still a very sloppy mortal scientist. What's up, six ounce? Oh, we have water, right? Yes, we do. Tortellini. Speaking of pasta, I'm really, 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 really excited to make pasta today for dinner. No, it's not, it's not about knowing that's what you're going to have to do, but it was almost like predicting that there's a chance you're going to have to defend the whole thing so that you got to put him within range of six or less, six or more, right? So that letter opener doesn't proc him in a bad situation. Like, it's like, it's about predicting worst case scenario. You know what I mean? Like, when I go for the hit, I'm like, okay, I don't want him to be at 80 because letter opener would split him. So I got to bring him to 81 or above. It's about having that mentally. I guess now that I have letter opener and did the slam boss, I can have in my Rolodex of knowledge, like, that's a thing. But that was a very specific situation because I didn't rest, etc, etc, etc. Because I could have just drawn skewer and been fine anyways, right? It could go both ways. You could be like, okay, I can put him as low as possible for drawing skewer. But then you gotta again think about the worst case scenario. If you don't draw skewer, then you should have him at six or more. Because skewer's still gonna do a decent chunk anyways. But you don't want to have the opposite where you just end up splitting him really bad. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, anyways. Yeah, I don't, yeah, that's some top tier predicts. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. That's like next level predictions. Or just, yeah, that's just really, really hedging your your weaknesses. That's some stuff. We're gonna puzzle this fire. I mean, it would be interesting to have, uh, like, puzzles, right? Like, they set up a fight, and they give you a specific deck and cards, and you have to figure out the one way to win a fight. That would be, that would be a good way to train those tactics, right? Like, almost like chess tactics. I'm all about chess tactics. There's a specific 15-card uh, deck, right? You can see the deck. You have Frozen Eye. They give you Frozen Eye. And you can see the next order of cards you draw. I'll be cool if somebody wants to make that, like a Slay, Slay the Spire Tactics. Yeah, if I, if I was if I was good at programming, I would program a Slay Spire Tactics, and what I'll do is I'll give him Frozen Eye, right? So here's what I'll do, I'll have like a series of like 10, 15 tactics to start off with. Frozen Eye, each different class, each, each different encounters. Some of them would be like boss fights, like Slime or Hexagos, whatever. Slime boss is usually one that tactics are really, like things like Guardian and Slime boss, there's a lot of tactics involved. Um, so yeah, I would be, uh, if I was good at programming, I would do that, that would be fun. I mean, I could teach myself to program if I wanted to. I was motivated to make this. Whose world is this? The world is yours. What language this game is written in? There you go. Yeah. Uh, you can decompile the whole game. Mom, I've been a really, really big fan of Cool Headed. But I and Cool Headed can give us that little bit of extra frost to hit those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful notes of Tori. I'm doing it. And it also helps me push my Dark Orb to get to get it off and popping, you know? Got Claw all for one. I wish I could buy both. You are. 
You are. Let's do hologram and remove. Go to sleep. Sleep is very important. The line person who stay awake, the reason why they don't track that, you know why? It's because it causes death. There are certain things that they don't track in terms of like world records. Lack of sleep? Well, no, they, they, they have had a, a record of lack of sleep, but it's like you end up hallucinating. Like, potentially, yeah, but yeah, the worst hallucination and stuff. All I need meter strike. No, there was one that they don't track. They don't track the longest time someone has been without water or food or something like that because those things are just idiotic, like leading to death. Whereas I guess the lack of sleep thing has been like recorded, but it it's just not fun. Hallucinations and all that crazy stuff. <laughs> hey, what's up, Kekawan? Uh, we got meteor strike, ball lightning, charge, battery. Oh my god, you watched Dragon Prince? Draco just told me to watch Dragon Prince. Okay, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it. Everybody told me to watch Dragon Prince. I know I'm gonna fall in love. Well, maybe... I don't want my expectations to be too high. Sina, what's up? So we got meteor strike, ball lightning, and charge battery. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the meteor strike. I'm thinking... Are we gonna do it, boys? Are we gonna do it? This could be interesting. I'll explain why. It's a little meme it is. But here's what here's what we could do, guys. That could lead to things like Snekawai, Turbo. Things could happen, all right? Uh, enlightenment. Just trust me on this. It's at least playable with the energy pot, which is good enough for me right now. It's good enough for me right now. Ah. Uh... Well, fuck me, boys. I'm doing this. Hit the guy on the left. Ah! Fuck. I think way too much damage. It's okay, though. It's okay. No worries. I like genetic. I don't usually like it, but I think it's early enough to make genetic kind of interesting. Oh my god, dude. Hey, thank you for the inspiration. Oh man, if you can get that mod underway, man, I'll be your number one supporter. I'll be doing tactics on stream, on YouTube. We, we would get that scene. Um, we're fine. We got this. Have no worry. Have no fear. Don't worry. I am here. A little worried. Yes, I am. Can we do this? We will find out. Tori is a godsend in this fight. If you want to let Justice have his day, I won't be the one to have that say. But if you don't want him to have his day, then I'll tell you what. Take it away. The modern day poet, that's what I am. Poet of the day, that's who I am. Um, I kind of want to meter strike. Just to like do it. But Doom and Gloom with like Energy Pot is just a better play, I think. I think this is better play, no? Is it not? Is this not the better play? He thinks it is.
Uh oh. We killing it. Mercury Hourglass. I'm a huge fan of that. I think Rainbow's pretty good, actually. Whoa! I, I, there's some good cards there. Damn. Let's go. I can go for another elite? Ah, let's go for the shop. Let me see what we get. Cold snap. Blizzard. Aggregate chaos. Oh my god, this membership card is so good. Should we remove? Take cold snap. Do we want to make this not exhaust? I don't think so. So now this meter strike is officially not playable. <laughs> Fuck. We're hoping for the best, boys. Hoping to carry this to the promised land. Because we have two dark orbs, uh, I actually think dual cast is the better upgrade. That's my philosophy. When you have two dark orbs, I think dual cast is the better upgrade. Now, if I do Surrey Pot, I will split him. I wouldn't, actually. This fight could be really manageable, though, with Tori. Gives you a relic, his rug. That sounds like a sexual innuendo. He helps the shop he gives you his rug, you know what I mean? Is this worth it? So this would give me... I'm only taking one damage. If I do this... I take... Four way block, right? So I gain two. I get minus two block. Since I get minus two block, I will end up taking six damage. Hashtag not worth. I think. Let's just use this willy nilly, I would say. Yeah. What is, what is it there for? To do damage, no? And I'd rather take no damage at all here, actually. Give it another turn for that Dark Orb to simmer. I think Tori would have gone off that Cold Snap. So if I did Tori, he just, I get 4, right? So I had 12 block plus 2. It's 14 block. If I hit him, I get down to 8 block. 8 plus 2 is 10. But then if I beat the Cold Snap, because it's a Cold Snap, I get 12 passive block. 12 passive block, he was doing 16 damage. 16 damage, 12, 8, you're 100% correct. I thought it was 18, it was 16, you're 100% correct. You're 100% correct. Hundred percent correct. Do we do cold snap now and get that uh, dark orb? Or we just kind of wait, let's just wait. You can say he's physically attached to that rug. Are we still talking about the same thing I still think we're talking about? Go for more weaken or we can go for yeah, go for more weaken. Can I get a dual cast? I mean that's good enough for me, honestly. Will I complain? No, it won't be coming from me. Today's a day where I speak in rhymes. Say a word and I'll probably speak a rhyme for that. Some drop of a dime. Just give me some time. My brain will be on it. Like some pizza on lime. What? That makes no sense. Does in my household. Alright, GG. Pick a king. Uh, today we're gonna have the king be the one who has the most bits. That's who the king is gonna be. Echo form. So... So, Seek, Core Surge, and Echo Form. This is interesting because 
Seek allows me to do is like meter strike shenanigans. If I get an ability, a way to, if I get a way to enable meteor form, whether it be through turbo, whether it be through double energy aggregate, sorry, yeah, enable meter strike, whether it be turbo or aggregate, or whatever, double energy, then Seek can allow me to get that pop off strike going. Echo form is just probably generally just better. Um, it is expensive, and meter strike is expensive in its own way, and then obviously core surge is. Already upgraded, and it's pretty damn good. Now is a good front loaded, but the artifact could be nutty in its own way as well. No, I didn't see that. I didn't see the, res the, the response song. I told you to let me know if you did a response song. I didn't see it. All right, all right, Arrow. Okay, okay. So you're the king now, Justice. You're the king. We'll take Echo. But if we get Sneko, <laughs> we get nothing but a pocket full of. I don't know. Damn. Dang, Chrissy is a prophet. Chrissy's the worst kind of prophet. She's like the prophet of bad news. She said, It's gonna suck if you don't get an energy relic. I said, Yeah, but of course we're gonna get that. She said, We'll see. Actually, not a real quote. Oh, shit. Arrow said, Psych? 1,500 bits. Thank you. The new king. All right, so you know what we need, guys? Enlightenment. Can I get a hashtag bless RNG for enlightenment? <clears throat> Capacitor, loop, electrodynamics. Turbo could still be really good, though, guys. We do turbo, we get echo form out, we do... Like, it could be really nice, actually. We could actually make this deck be fantastic if we get turbo. Now, we got capacitor, loop, or this. I'll do loop. Is it the better play? I don't know. Echo. Damn, that's a lot of damage. He, oh, thank you for the thousand. Oh my god, you guys are you guys are nuts. You've been right at the cusp. You're like. You're basically saying, I could take it, but I'll let him have it. You're like, you're playing the power move, huh? You're like, I could take the throne, but we'll let him have it. Oh, but I just realized, by the way, guys, double, like, Echo from Charge Battery could be a way to enact Meteor Strike. That's, now we have a way to get Meteor Strike with Echo Form Charge Battery. If I play this twice, I don't think it procs twice. I'll make you throw down. <laughs> right, don't get silly, guys. Don't get silly. Charge very hologram, charge very canoss. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's just easier to do charge very twice, you know? It's the same concept. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want everybody doing anything stupid. Damn. Is that a GG? Whew. Damn. Reinforced body. Claw. Isn't Claw kind of interesting? With uh, a very cheap little deck of mine. And then we have Echo Form to make it twice. Or do we just want Reinforced body for the block? Because, like, you know, Claw could be a way to scale up for the champ. But we do have Dark Orbs, which is pretty good. Reinforced body is very conservative. Reinforced body is just good in general, yeah. How long get this thrown? How long till the end of the stream? Um, got another like six hours, five, six hours. Why does go back form? It's true, it is. If you need that much block, does a man need that much block? This claw of form is not bad either, right? That's like quick little scaling, bam, bam, bam. Before you know it, the things are coming out, going out of control. This claw is claw what I want though. Reinforced body because we kind of have like an energy deck going on, right? We have like meteor strike, echo form potential stuff. 
Now I'm doing this instead of reinforced body straight up because I'm trying to get Echo Form played without too much of a loss of life, you know what I mean? Well, this would help as well. Damn. Do I just do explosive pot or do I say seven damage, no problem? Ah, that's a lot of damage. Seven damage when I'm already at 29 life because that, that damn avocado. By the way, guys, I have to uh, remind me. I got to... Scrape would have been cool with Claw. I kind of regret that, not taking Claw. I have to Photoshop a pain in the, the pain in the butt bands. I have to Photoshop that to remind me. We got Sunder. Now, Sunder could be interesting with Echo Form. Although, my deck is just so lacking energy as it is, you know what I mean? I wish I could find Enlightenment. Prismatic Shard would have been the dream. This is another one Prismatic Shard, so this seed is interesting. If there's a way that I could save my money, this seed has Prismatic Shard with Meteor Strike. A Meteor Strike Prismatic run run could be like... Like colorless cards, like Madness could pop up, Enlightenment could pop up. Sunder doesn't really seem to fit my deck. Uh, ultimately, I think we want to... For the boss, we're going to try to get Dark Orb Scaling for the boss of Champ. Um, for everybody else, I, I suppose we could do... Like, Sunder would be useful. I love Prismatic. I think it's amazing. I want it every single time. We'll do Sunder. And cool headed. Still don't have the best answer for me to strike. Uh-oh. 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 Uh oh. No rise. Hmm. One of the big members of the pain in the butt bands. You hate to see this guy. Charge. Ay, 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 ay. I la 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 Se necesito A la 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 We can Reboot storm FTL Damn son That's a sunder for 32 straight up with the lightning and the dark orb coming or the echo form on the back end. So you know what? Let's do echo form. I did not mean to pick that up. Whoopsies. I forgot for a sec. Let's get the scaling, boys. Alright, boys. I keep picking up cards I do not want to pick up. I am triggered. I am triggered. We managed. White noise. We managed, we managed, we managed. I'm gonna upgrade it because I actually, you know, a three energy. That being free. Ooh, me in the bone. Uh, I think we should probably rest, right? Just for the elite coming up. I think so. Just in case things get hairy. I wish I had enlightenment. I would have been cool to do Seraphim maybe, huh? Let's keep both of these guys weakened. Oh my god, it's not my fault the thing didn't go off with alert. Oh! Thank you, Day Dash. It's the tier one. Get this up to Master Trot. Given five gifts up, by the way. Welcome, Master Trot, as well, to the germ pool. You're a damn star, a legend, and everything in between. I'm about to get the thing, think a thing thing. So I think Tempest could be cool with Echo Form. But I think Corsair's a better play. And uh, thank you, man. Give another gift sub. Master, welcome. You're a good addition. I tell you that. 
Damn, that is a genetic algorithm twice. So how about we do this twice first? And then that. And, you know, how do we go just full lightning? I mean, full frost. Full frontal. Full frontal. Why did I pick capacitor? I'm not quite sure. Genetic algorithm is so good, actually. This is twice. But maybe dual cast twice is better because I get... I get 20 block off that. How about Rainbow Twice? Rainbow Twice gives me... If I do Steroid Pot, I'm doing 15-15. And then a Strike to finish it off. 14-14. Aye. But it's still pretty damn decent, you know what I'm saying? Is it though? I'm still taking quite a bit of damage. I mean, it's better than nothing, actually. I only take one damage. What am I talking about? Take one damage, and then we have meat and the bone? Self repair. Electro. Huh. We managed so far. Chill. Frag, nice. Why are you reading? What happened? Sunder. Oh, because of the jokes. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. I like how you actually knew the response. <laughs> he was ready for that one. Quack Coke Queen. He really is the master of puns. There's no stump in this man. rest boys I have a dream and a feeling and something in between those two things not the feeling but the thing not a dingaling but it's really a no rise a codex it's gonna help me scale up and do things whether it be through capacitor defrags or more kind of bling rings I think we're gonna do darkness right and maybe get a loop and in that process no rise is gonna give us something to cahoot and to boot so we'll see. Do I rest? I mean, 24 is a decent amount. And if I were to upgrade, what would it be? Reinforced body? I'm thinking about. Mm, perhaps instead, I just rest so I'm not dead. And what would happen is, maybe that's a play with me using my head. Huh. No, I think 24 is enough if we can get a week in and other stuff. So I'm going to upgrade. I just don't see any upgrades that are like super impactful. There's reinforce.
Ah, uh, buddy. I don't know about that one. It would be really nice if I can get, um... My goal here is to get something really nice, obviously, from... The No Rise. But, um... I want to get Echo Form on a turn where he's not attacking. Like, right now, Echo Form would be fantastic. Nice. Double cold snap. I mean, double charge. Alright, guys. So now, since we have the echo form out and the no rise get in and stuff, let us find a way to, uh, to pop off. Oh, shit. Pedro. Welcome to the germ pool. Thank you again, Dejo, to the tier one sub. Welcome, Pedro. Pedro, Pedro. You got us now, dude. You got us. Whoa! Slow down right there, sir. That's an echo form number two. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Charge. What's up, Hell's Mail? I've been watching since the beginning of summer. This is like the second cut of Kai. Welcome. I'm really trying to get the Star Corp to scale up like the Hickens and the Chickens, but the thing is, where the hell is Capacitor? In the loops. I'm running through hoops to find it. Let's get a weekend for the rest of his life. Are you guys down for that? Wait, what? Oh, my bad. Whoops. Defrag, that's a start. That's a massive start. The greatest start. Fantastic start. Give me the defrags. I could do Meteor Strike if I wanted to. I just don't want to. That's a lot of energy wasted, but you know what? It's like... We're slow playing this, guys. We're slow playing it. Mmm. Slow roast. Slow roast. Oh, guys, check it out. Check it out. You guys have never seen this much energy on a three energy deck before in your life. You probably have. Yes. Defrag, where you at? Boom. Boom. I just need orb slots. I just need orb slots. I just need loop and stuff. This is kind of an easy way to win, but I don't care, it's enough. It's enough to win the game. It's a waffle win the wame. It's a waffle win the wame. Just butter them up a little bit. A little bit of butter, you know? Butter goes well with a good meal. Good slow cooked meal. Boom, boom. 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 Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Five energy next turn. Wow. Multicast. Oh, shit. Damn. That's a way to just accelerate the whole damn thing. All right, so multicast is going to be 84 times 8. 84 times 8. Now, there's a problem here because I want to play genetic. But let me see. That's a lot of damage. It's lethal. Right? So what we could do though is uh, 7 times 84, which is still going to be lethal. So let's play this so we can stack it, and then bam. Seek. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Energy relic. Yes, yes, yes. Can no longer rest. Maybe, maybe. Got meat on the bone. Call me crazy. We want less card rewards? I think we're good with cards, right? Because we have no rise. We got all these things. Uh, you know what? I don't want to take the chance of not being able to rest. You never know what could happen. But we do have meat on the bone. But, uh, you know, I'll play it safer and take the crown.
Ow, brother. Okay. Um... Damn, where the hell is everything in my like where where are the good things in my deck? Where are the good things in my deck? It might be that might be considered spam, yeah. Huh? Shit. Well, that corp is great, but then I it's too much damage. So we're gonna have to let Mercury Hourglass just win this fight. Now, let me see. So they're doing what? 18, 29, 42. 42 damage. I have six block, right? Okay. Now this is going to be, ah, fine. Too much damage. Too much damage. Genetic algorithm is really nice right about now. I mean, Gloom helps speed up the process of the AoE shenanigans of Mercury Hourglass. Let's do Doom and Gloom again. Electro. I don't mind it. I reckon I don't mind that. Fuck. Please I can kill this guy. What's up, Lulu? Guys, I can't believe I got Matryoshka and I haven't... Wow. Who's the boss? Time Eater? This tech needs work, guys. This deck needs work. Can we can we give like some like bless RNGs? Because this deck starts popping off once the nail right starts doing some good stuff for me. But until then, it's like it needs some work. And by the way, this guy is, I believe, the drummer of the pain in the butt band. This guy is prime time pain in the butt. Oh, me in the bone, come in, baby. Come in, me in the bone. So if I do this, he's doing what? 50 damage? No, he's doing 40 damage. He's doing 40 damage. Fine. Now... Fine. I did not want to press that. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Do we have Echo Form? We do, right?
I can afford all for one, right? Get the weekend. Defrag. Glacier. It's already weakened. The guys are already weakened. Six is forty two. Man, this guy is insane. Insane guy. Insane. I'm worried, guys, against the time eater. Bias cognition is an interesting card that can help me just get enough block until I start scaling with creative AI and no rise, but at the same time, it's like. I'm taking it. Fine. And we remove a strike. Is there another shop that I can save my money for? Yeah, there is. There's another shop, but is mo ah is removing a strike better? I think we're gonna save for the shop. I'm gonna be risky. And I'm not gonna heal because I'm eating the bone. And we're gonna do seek. And I'm hoping I can get a core surge from no rise or core surge from this from the fights. Aye, aye, aye. This is really good, but that's oh. We'll hope for hologram. Oh fuck. Echo form defrag. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Good turn for Echo Form, right? I need to find a hologram. I need to find a hologram and, and do a uh, Sunder on this guy. Oh, damn. So I can fully block a Reinforced Body. They're doing what? 51. That's, that's, that's overblock. If I do hologram, I could do. Well, double deco uh, defrag is not bad. It's 18, right? I'll just do this. Uh, I think I actually took more damage I need to take. Double Epper Beam is a play. more damage I need to take, my bad. Yo. See what this is all about. Hyperim again.
I think it's a bit genetic. I could have played. Ah. Uh, thank God for me and the bone, dude. Oh my God, I'm scared out of my mind in this these fights. I think I have good block, but like against those guys, not really. I can take another leap. I'm gonna be greedy again and get card draw. Shuriken, Darkstone, and eh, those are whatever. Oof. Oof. So what we're gonna need here? Oh, we can just kill both these things, actually. Fuck that. Butcher could be good in this fight. Because that's AoE, and it's getting scaled up. Fuck. Should've just done that. I should've just done that fully. That was my B. Might be. If I do that fully, I would take one le uh, a lot less damage. Nine. Ten. Dual cast. I mean, guess I have to. Where's the echo from when I need it? Shit. Damn, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I wanted to do Echo, but... Can I do Echo Charge and not take any damage? I'll take one damage. What if I just do this instead? Is that just better? I want to get Echo out, and I could do Echo Charge and then only take one damage. Man, yikes. Do I want a claw? I don't know. Should I rest now? I'm not gonna rest, but the upgrades that I have are not that great. I mean, this deck, if I could just survive the first couple turns, this deck can do work. Echo Form's gonna be really good in this fight. I think I want White Noise as well. I think Echo Form could carry me here. We'll see. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, double bias. It's risky. I think hologram to cool headed leap leap. Um, it's risky, right? I guess double bias is the play just to stay alive. That's real risky though. We'll make it work out. Damn. It's only getting worse and worse, boys. It's 24, right? That's 10, 34. I want to play Doom. Sixteen, twenty-one. Triggers the curse. I know, I know. More biased. Oh my god, we're gonna be losing way too much. We're gonna be losing way too much if I do bias like that. I 
can't do buys again. Double Sunder. Storm could be an interesting way to start winning. I think Sunder's kind of good for damage, right? It's good, but it's like, damn, it's so expensive. I only take one damage already Sunder, I, I believe. Because he's doing 15... He's doing 29, right? And he's doing 34, and I have 29. I only take one damage. Double Doom and Gloom. Shit. Nah. Another Echo Form. Is that what's going to carry me? Double Echo Form? Apotheosis? Apotheosis is not going to do shit for me. Double Echo Form might do some shit, though. That could get, that could get crazy. Double Echo, boys. Alright, let's get a Dexterity Pot to stay alive. Cheer che cheerio, boys. Let's go for it. Hmm. That's an early Echo form. Um, let me play Dexterity Pot. This guy's probably pretty difficult. Seek out the uh, curse and genetic. And tell me, check genetic is not amazing here. You can't tell me that. You won't tell me that. Got two cards here. Watch it be a big attack and I can play double buffer. And that'll be the perfect turn for me. Or double sunder. For some damage. Or double doom and gloom and get all dark orbs. Just get a crap ton of dark orbs and scale the hell up. This is 64 damage. This is going to be doing a lot of scaling. What do you think? Sixty-four. Double biased. I feel like double biased would be good if I just got frost. So I'm gonna have to try to draw into frost. Huh, I think I actually want to do this. Well, double buffer. It's gonna protect against uh, thirty damage, and then I'll take fifteen. Unless I do double buffer and then I play the genetic pot and go for um, reinforced or other things. No damage, boys. We lose the echo form, though. I think it's fine, though. I think it's fine. It's fine. I would like to get the weaken. Double charge. Triple charge. Incursion. It's trying to do some damage with dark orbs. I mean, I would love to start doing some. Some frosts. I would love to just do weaken again, to be honest. And now we're trying to do some stuff. But by stuff, I mean we just have dark orb scaling. Step over recursion here. 
don't know if that was the best play. It's probably my worst play so far. That hurts, but we get me in the bone, right? It's all good. We get me in the bone. Double bias? I think now's a good time to do double bias. Um, or double double defend, it's not bad either. Double bias is not bad. Take this just in case. Alright. Let's do reinforce so we can keep the uh, dark orbs. Although frost orbs are really nice. Just trying to get the dark for the finish. Is that lethal? Okay, who's the next boss? Who's the next boss? The one that could be an issue. Okay, awaken one. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, awaken one. I see you. Okay, I see you. I see you. There's no limit to how many things I can play, though, which is nice. So, if I can get popping off, I, I might just play a whole bunch of powers. Because if I get, if I play the right powers. I'm not playing Storm. M Meteor Strike I will play. Consume? Yeah, Consume is good. Because that, that gives me focus that's not power related. And I can always find Capacitor, I suppose. Which is, is I guess it is a power. Um, shit. Okay, so we got... If we weaken him, does he do 6 times 4 Now, we don't have Echo Form just yet. If I see... Well, if I do Hologram Meteor Strike and then I Sunder this guy, we get a lot of extra energy, right? Not that much extra energy. Okay. Consume. Okay, if we seek... I can seek out the Echo Form and Genetic Algorithm and then I can start... Doing some stuff. Do I want to do genetic? Or do I want to go for the weekend with hologram? But the weekend with hologram do much for me? Makes him do 24, right? I gotta keep in mind that he's gonna get strength though, that's the thing. Capacitor. I gotta keep that in mind. He got strength. My bad. I go for him again. I mean, that could just win me the fight, but the thing is, like... Alright, he's got eight strength. That's, that's it. That's all. I'm gonna leave him at that. We do have shuriken scaling. That's something to keep in mind. I guess we can scale up shuriken. Although I can't want to do capacitor. How crazy do I get here? The timer's yeah. How crazy do I get here? Do I do capacitor and start giving him uh, more strength or I just say I can win with what I have now because of echo form? I think I can win because of echo form. Oh that's a double consume though. I think double consume with double capacitor balances out, I would say. Does it though? I only take one damage here. I think double consume will balance out double capacitor. Shit, boy. So hologram can bring back reinforced body if I need to, right? And we'll bring back the passage just in case we get we change our mind about playing it. <clears throat> so do capacitor now. 
Ja. Sjæk, 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 sjæk. Is that stupid of me? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. This is not echo formed, I don't think. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Eighteen. Twenty-eight. Six. Brought some focus to save this. I think I just passed here. Like, I. I don't want to play Doom and Gloom. Although, that would be a good way to scale. I just don't want it to be played twice. Maybe I don't mind, though, just because we do have a lot of frost, don't we? More frost. And we're fine because we got we got reinforced body twice. We even got sunder twice here if we want to. So he's doing fifty two, right? Fifty two, and I got twenty four plus twenty seven. Fifty one. I can take one damage and do double sunder. Is it worth it? I feel like it is. Creative AI. We could do creative AI and just end up just going bonkers. Yes, he's going to be strong as fuck, but if I get 20,000 focus with all these frosts, does it matter how strong he is? But I guess Necro, I mean, No Rise is kind of like creative AI in its own way. This could get crazy, but then it could also start clogging up my hands. Whereas the No Rise doesn't clog me up. So, I, No Rise is my creative AI without clogging me up. But I can't echo form as immediate, you know what I mean? Um, I, I, I might do it, but I'm, for now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait a little bit. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to wait. Uh, we can seek out the weaken. We can seek out the consume. More dark orb for me. I guess I could just put one lightning to just get a little bit of damage going, you know what I mean? I don't know how Thunder Strike is. Thunder Strike gonna be doing good damage? I don't think so. We have Shuriken, so we do have two strength. It could be interesting. Ah, I'm gonna skip for now. I like this though, because this gives me Shuriken right here. Capacitor. And I don't mind giving him more strength with Capacitor because I'm balancing that up with more Frost. Is it stupid? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I feel like we're, we're, we're getting to a point where like we are doing way more than, than he's doing to me. We're scaling much more, you know what I mean? Could be wrong though. He's doing what? 64? 
I've got 70 passive block. Blizzard. Blizzard's a scaling, baby. That's it. Blizzard's gonna be the, the lethal. So Sunder's doing pretty decent. I could do zap. I'm just gonna leave the 70 passive block. I can do consume again now. So, okay, that's okay. So he's doing what, 64? 64, huh? Yeah. Lasers are coming at the yep. 69 twice. But I do want to play charge battery for next turn. Alright, boys. Now we could do bias as much as we want, but I still don't even need to do bias. I could do bring force, just have more of that in my deck. The more bring force body in my deck, I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. More cold snap. Now I think I don't mind doing stuff like meter strike and then double cold snap because Yes, it gets rid of my uh It gives me shuriken, and yes it gets rid of my frost, but I can bring the frost back pretty reliably because I have a lot of frost stuff in my deck. Is it risky? Maybe. Is it worth it? Probably not. Let's just do Storm then. Ah, why am I doing Storm? Ah, it's worse. I was gonna do it, guys. I was gonna do Meteor Strike, but I was like, nah, forget about it. Forget about it. Let's not get crazy. Double Consume. Is Double Consume worth it? I'm getting four focus for four orbs. There's 12. Nah, I think it's not worth it here. Unless we have capacitor on the ready. And like, like again, keep in mind, we are going to have uh, Blizzard be the win condition. Just, yeah, we already won. Just show for Blizzard. You're right, you're right. Just show for Blizzard. We already won. What's he doing? He's doing 30, 57? That's nothing. Baby talk. But I'm, I'm trying to get rid of my frost, which is bad. So let's get that back. Blizzard is 76. What if I do blizzard, blizzard, hologram, blizzard, blizzard? GG! Yo, in decks like this, Blizzard is awesome. We did it, boys. We fucking did it. Nice. That was a long-ass battle at the end, but... Yeah.